I realized recently that it takes one hour and eight minutes to get to Naples. So why not go for two nights? I have uh, my stuff laid out here, which is what I'm gonna take with me. I'm gonna pack extremely light and bring only this one backpack because nobody has time to carry a bunch of luggage, especially for two nights. Yeah, I think I'm good, let's go. Ho dimenticato la mascherina. Non sei vaccinato? Sì. Non ci sono problemi, sali, sali. Ok. No, 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 ho la mascherina, ma sono in ritardo perché dovevo ah, andare ancora una volta in appartamento. Ah, ok. <ride> ok. Allora, ci Sì. I think for the first time in my entire life, I'm early, so I'm gonna get some food. I'm walking to my hotel because I don't like transport. Uh, I don't like public transportation, and I think it's uh, a nice opportunity to see some of the city already. If I walk there, because Google says it's going to be exactly 59 minutes to get there, although I don't believe that. So. I'm gonna see a lot in 59 minutes and I only have this. So it's not like I'm lugging my huge luggage with me or anything. <laughs> it's really hot. and the room is really nice. So now I'm thinking of uh, what should I do since I just got here 
and the first thing on my mind is food. So far, I feel like Napoli, Naples, is a lot more exciting than Rome. Rome is amazing for the history, the art, and I don't know. <laughs> is that all? <laughs> no, it's nice in Rome. But so far, Naples is just a big chaotic fun place, it seems. So I'm gonna go out and see what I can find. Ah. <laughs> I'm not smooth at all. So I just bought this. And I'm going to see what it tastes like. The woman said it's called a baba. What's inside? It's freaking delicious. She put syrup on it or something. She like poured it on there and then gave it to me. Yeah, baba, try, try a baba. Naples is great. You can uh, walk around all over the city. You can look at Mount Vesuvius from many different angles. It looks awesome no matter where you are. You can go to museums, you can eat, but what about the nightlife? <laughs> Instead of Pizzeria Matteo, I ended up eating here called Masaniello, which was down the street. <laughs> I ate this pizza, which was delicious. And then I hung out with this guy who I knew from Rome, his friend, where we ate again on the street, as you can see, <laughs> and had a few of these spritz. So now it's time to say Buonanotte for the first night in Naples. I found this guy on the experiences page of Airbnb. He is a city guide slash photographer. So we both got our cameras and walked around and he told me about some things I would have never known otherwise about Naples. And he's so outgoing. You can see that he's talking with everybody <laughs> and everybody's so outgoing with him too. It's really nice to see. We're in the Spanish quarter here, or we're going into it. In this quarter, there's so much life happening. There's so much chaos, to be honest. People are yelling. You can see right inside people's living rooms while they're just living their lives, doing whatever they do in their living room, whether they have clothes on or not. It's uh, a very interesting experience. People living here just don't care that somebody on the street might see them I don't know, in their underwear. <laughs> There's lots of graffiti all over the walls. You, you can see he, he takes photos of them. I was told though not to go here, not to go too deep into this area at night. So I've been walking all morning with this photographer guy. It was fun. I learned a lot about Napoli. Unfortunately, I didn't have time to eat or drink anything before meeting him so although it was very fun i was kind of suffering <laughs> now i'm going to do a very bad thing i'm going to do a very bad thing for being in italy for being in naples especially i think but i have to do it i have to just one time So I was thinking, let's get a frappe. Let's get a, like an iced coffee at McDonald's. Nope, even McDonald's here doesn't have that kind of coffee. <laughs> Where can I find this kind of coffee? 
I just don't want an espresso. I, I don't want to drink a shot of something. I want a glass with lots of liquid inside and cold liquid. That's all I want. <laughs> I feel fine now. I've had some coffee. My shirt has also had some coffee. This is the reason why I can't wear white. I, I mean, I try to wear white like today, for example, and this always happens. I've been out here for a while. This morning I did not put sunscreen on my face, but I put it here and here and here, blah, blah, blah. So maybe I should go back and rest a bit. But I keep seeing stuff like this and I just want to stay out longer. I came back here to recuperate. I came back here to rest, to sit in the air conditioning for a little bit. <laughs> to change this shirt, which I've been sweating in. And uh, after I'm here for a little while, I'm going to go back out again and go to a museum. The museum is called Madre and it's of contemporary art and not like classical art or ancient art anymore. I've been seeing all the ancient arts, all the old Baroque, all the every other style of art in Rome. So now in Naples I'm going to see this contemporary art and maybe tomorrow I will actually see some older art again because I really want to see this Caravaggio collection. I think they have several here. This is the breakfast from the hotel. It is extremely sweet, as you can see. Cakes, pies, brownies, etc. This is very typical in Italy. But here is some fruit and some cheese and some dairy and also the drinks and the juices. Even some sparkling wine for those who want to have that for breakfast. The outside was beautiful. The view was amazing. The weather, this early in the morning was also mild and nice. You can see Vesuvius there in the distance. So this, what is this? Do you see this little dot that's approaching quickly? <laughs> this is a plane, obviously. In this spot where I am is like a plane watching area 
right next to the next museum that I'm gonna go to. So they fly right over so close. They're flying over every five or 10 minutes. This is the next museum I'm going to. It's called Capo di Monte. If you got through this entire video and you are now at this point, I am very impressed. I was in Naples for another day. As you can see, I'm back in Rome, but I just didn't feel like using the camera on that last day. I basically went to an, I went to another museum. I ate some more food. I met a friend of mine who was randomly there. I cannot believe that he appeared in Naples out of nowhere. I saw on his Instagram stories that he was in Naples and I was like, Hey, I'm down the street. So we had a drink coming back from a trip, whether long or short is always kind of sad. But no, I'm a happy person, so I'm here in Rome again, and I'm happy because I'm still basically traveling. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video. You'll see me in the next video. If you like this long vlog format, let me know because it's encouraging. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Sure, I'll make some more anyway, but it's nice to know that you like it, or, or maybe you don't like it, so. Okay, bye. Bye. Ciao. Bye.